No cameras allowed. Israel's parliament seeks to forbid documentation of soldiers in action. My party was blamed for promoting anti-democratic laws. But maybe the soldiers we are sending to fight on the forefront should be those at the diplomatic front, or on Facebook, or on the forefront of BDS. According to the proposed legislation, documenting a soldier in action can carry a five-year jail sentence, and if proof of an intention to, quote, harm the state security is found, the sentence can go up to 10 years. The government, however, conditioned its support for the motion, demanding a softer version, especially in terms of the punishment, to be formulated together with the defense and justice ministries. Yet for the opposition, it's not a matter of how severe the penalty will be, but rather one of principle. For 35 years, I proudly wore and operated in my army uniform. Never, ever did I feel the need to hide or run away from cameras. You do not realize that this law will first and foremost harm the soldiers. Our strength is driven from our morality during combat. And so this bill that aims at hiding our activity sends a message of weakness. You are giving tools to our enemies to act against us. Yet this bill wasn't created in a vacuum. For many years now, there are human rights or BDS activists documenting IDF soldiers with the purpose of using those images against them. In some instances, even intentionally provoking them. Over the past year, we at Imtur 2 have been documenting how radical left activists have been using their cameras in order to harass, obstruct, and disrupt the activities of IDF soldiers. There's a clear difference between a journalist who comes to report on a story and a radical activist who shoves his camera in the soldier's face in order to harm them. This is a great day, a great day for IDF soldiers and for the state of Israel. Now, the bill is expected to be drafted anew into a milder version. But there are those who already say, if you've got nothing to hide, You've got nothing to fear. Ellie Hochenberg, I24 News.